Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Game Man, we are returning to Command Modern Operations, where we're simulating a war between Russia and Ukraine and NATO, actually. So last time around, we did win uh, one air battle over Ukraine, I want to say. We did lose one F-15, sadly, I have to say. But nevertheless, we did manage to shoot down a couple of uh, MiG-31s. So that's a good development. Um, one of the less good developments is down here. We've basically exhausted all of our anti-air ammunitions that we had in this surface group, uh, which does in particular include the US's the Sullivans, an Orla Berkey class destroyer. And that means this is not good. There are still a lot of missiles streaming our way. And I very much think that uh, we are going to be hit very hard here. We might be losing a couple of ships. In fact, one of these missiles is just microseconds away from impacting uh, one of the other ships down here. This is not going to be pretty, but that's something that we're going to have to suffer. Um, there's nothing that we can really do about this. We could try to bring in more of our planes over here and try to intercept all of these missiles here with anti-air missiles and stuff. But there's just so many of them. Look at that. There's four missiles there. There's four over here. There's another four or so, presumably, up here. So we're looking at 12 missiles at the very least. And I don't think that we're really equipped to do that. Well, I say that, and then we've got the F-22, and we've got the Falcon here. These guys are fast. I really do not want to waste my anti-air missiles on... on unguided weapons but yeah honestly we have to I think we, we cannot really in good conscience see these these things being destroyed so that's really annoying but we are gonna try to intercept as many of these things as we possibly can right let's let's try to bring you guys over you know what you can go a little bit more to the north maybe we can intercept these missiles they're so incredibly fast, though, that that's a big issue here. So we'll have to go after burner speed. And I very much doubt whether that's going to be enough, um, but we'll see. I'm also going to get you guys a little bit closer in here. That missile we can't intercept, but we're going to at least try to, to make a positive impact on the other things there. I'm really intrigued whether that will work, but yeah, it's, it's what we can do. Right, you're 85 miles away. These guys are 160 miles away. And you do have still a couple of sidewinders. You know what? We are going to bring you over. We are going to go all in on defending these guys. Now, apart from that, I want to do a couple of further things. And that is, some of you have mentioned that I should do an all-out attack on Crimea. And I think it's going to be kind of difficult. But I agree that it should probably be done. And that does include our aircraft that are currently based here in England. Specifically the B-1 Lancers with these JSMs. We've got 24 cruise missiles, that's pretty hefty. And we've also got the Strata Fortresses. So one thing I want to find out, what's your strike range actually? So with the aircraft stores, no, 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 that's not what I want. I want you, you know what, we can find that out more easily if we click up over here. So you've got a 2400 mile strike radius. That's well within that strike radius, so you don't need to be refueled actually, so that's good. We've also got the B-52. Now, what's your strike radius? We can also check that down here, I, I think. 4,600. Okay, you're going to be fine. You don't actually need refueling. And then, sorry, the last one over here, the B-1 Kitty Hawk. Yeah, 2,500 miles. You should all be well within the range here. So we don't actually need to send our, um, our tankers up from England. Uh, what we might want to do, though, is send up... What else have we got over here? We've got these two aircraft, I think these are the tankers, yeah. They are, then we've got Milton Hall, you're just a talent, that's all right, you don't need any support either. And then we've got these Grim Reapers. Now, you guys, I think, are a little bit more critical. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch these two tankers and we're gonna bring them up over somewhere over Germany and then they can refuel maybe at least uh, the air complement there. And that's going to be all right. Yeah, let's let's give them ha some head start there, and um, so that should be good. Yeah, and there we go. I think this is a Romanian ship, which is now sinking. Not good, not good at all. And we are seeing further missiles being launched. This is just so um so so bad. And uh, now that being said, you guys here, um, can you just go back to normal speed, please? 
Are you engaged defensively? Um, guys, you don't actually need to be that. I know you think you're being in engaged by these missiles, but you're not. We did shoot down the launch platforms here, so this is really not something that you need to be too concerned about. Many level right. Cruise speed. Everyone, cruise speed. Cruise speed and high altitude, please. High altitude, please. You're still accelerating. You don't need to accelerate. Cruise. There we go. Fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to avoid burning too much fuel here. So where are these missiles coming from still over here? I think. Yeah, that's still a lot of missiles in the air here. At the very least 12. And we're seeing more over here. So that's a fencer, but there are two more missiles. This is not going according to plan at all. It's really kind of bad, isn't it? Ooh, uh, this is a bit more critical. That's surface-to-air missile, which we're seeing over here now. Okay, so, ah, oh, no, that's not too bad. You're actually engaging just the harm missile here. Um, speaking of, I, I think I should talk to you again. Why are you out of range and you weren't before? That's odd. That's really odd. I think this missile actually has no chance of reaching them. Oh, no, sorry, that's the wrong wrong aircraft here. Right, you guys. Um, let's try to do that. Okay, you shoot him. Yeah, we can fire this. Let's go. It's not going to be very effective, but that's all right. You can now return home. Uh, stop. Now, one of the things that the AI likes to do is when you fired all of your missiles, it gave it basically asks these guys to return which is fine uh, but that does mean they're going to come back up to normal altitude and that I kind of dislike uh, because I would like to get out of the weapon range of uh, of these guys over here um, and you're not doing what I'm telling you to do are you no you are you're just climbing and that's that's okay right yeah Further missiles striking there. That's all right. They're only trying to intercept the harm missile here, which is pretty fast. So they're going to have a difficult time doing that. But so far, this is okay. Right. I do think we did shoot down an aircraft over here. We also have these these fences here. I would like to shoot them down. Let's see whether we can do that. These are stealth aircraft, so they should be relatively capable of doing that. Right, and we're not seeing much else here, even though our radar is on. Uh, would we be seeing it though? Let's turn on our air sensors. No, we wouldn't. So not yet at the very least. Uh, you know what, you guys can also go back to loitering speed. We've got these Grippens. I think we were trying to intercept some other stuff over here too, at some point, but... Um, Probably it has actually gone out of gone out of uh, radar range. Right, what else are we seeing here? Further air-to-air -air missiles, uh, so surface-to-air missiles. That's okay. It's not actually too bad. Right, the bone hats and you guys with the sightwinders. You're not going to be able to intercept that at all, aren't you? Yeah, you're just way too fast. These missiles are just way, way too fast. Even though they are going military speed already, this is kind of difficult. Right, they're launching more and more missiles there. Most of them are missing. Um, this one didn't, unfortunately. But the good thing is it will deplete their anti-air missile stores just as they did to us. So uh, at, least <laughs> at least somewhat optimistic in that regard. Let's see. Where are you guys going? I think you were just going uh, off a tangent there just because sort of that was happening. Further guided missiles being launched there. That's okay. Nothing happening over, over Ukraine proper. So that's good. I think we can actually, actually accelerate timing here a little bit. So you guys do still have your sightwinders ready, right? So you should be all right. Yeah, but I do think... We have very little chance of, of producing intercepts with these guys, right? So this is... He's going twice as fast as we are. This is 38 miles uh, away from us. It's even 30 miles from him. There's no chance how we would intercept him. Probably the closest approach would be something like 16 miles. 
and I think the Sidewinder has a range of like 8, no 10. So that's just simply a no. We might have a chance of maybe intercepting some of the some of the ones that are slightly further back, like these ones. But I think everything else is not really something that we can do, except for maybe this aircraft up here. And that's the Raptor, and it, it's really not playing to the strengths of the Raptor. But here we are, so let's do it. Let's, let's do it. I, I really, really hate to do this, but there we go. We are going to do it. We're going to send all of our AIM-120Cs from this incredibly powerful launch platform against targets that can't even defend themselves. And I'm hoping that I'm not going to be counterattacked here by some other stuff. Um, and you know what? Um, you can actually go to medium altitude here. Um, and what you could also do is uh, send a sidewinder towards this guy. And there's not even guaranteed to, to really save our troops there. That harm missile was unfortunately intercepted a little bit earlier. Okay, here we are. First missiles in the air. Things over here still friendly, still calm. That's good. We've got the AVEX. We've got this Gripen. That's okay. Yeah, I think that must be the tankers here from there. Um, let's uh, pick these guys and send them over towards uh, Germany. You guys are coming in. You guys are just uh, tanking. That's good. What are you guys doing? Well, you guys are providing fighter cover, but it's not going to be enough by, by a long shot. Right, bone hats. Um, you guys need to come here. You need to attack this guy. With your... Come on, infrared missiles. I think you're low enough. This is a head-on attack, so it's not going to be super, super duper great, but it's what we can do. There we go, that's the first missile. And I think very soon we're going to have to turn around because I'm not sure whether that missile is going to hit. No, it's not. Right, um, another Sightwinder. It's out of four sight limits now, but we might at least come around to, to a degree that that is going to be possible. Come on now. Is he too far away now? No, no, it it it's a valid firing solution, so let's let's try to get it. So there we go. Is it faster though? How how fast is the sightwinder? Uh well currently it's actually slower. And it doesn't seem to be accelerating, so that's going to be a no-no. These guys are a little bit faster, though. Okay, we're going to try to save that ship. It's it's costing us a lot here, but just what we can do. And then we'll we'll just this is this is almost completely futile, but. What we can do, we can do. No, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late. Stop, stop, stop. Um, can you? Can one of you guys target um this dude with anything? No. Uh, what's that ship actually? That's that's up here in the north. Can you target him with anything? Anything. I mean, use your 30 millimeter gun here. I really don't think it's gonna work, but it's the best that we can do. Nope, sinking. Jesus, this is so bad. Well, at least we managed to shoot down three of these missiles, but that leaves so many missiles remaining here, which is really, really kind of an issue. Can I retarget you? No, I don't think I can. But at least I do hope no, because you're faster than these guys, so you're not gonna walk into his his cone there. So that is is really really crummy, and that is another problem because that's a surface to MSL, which I think is going up against our F-35. So even though we've got stealth aircraft here, it seems like they have broken um, that. So let's briefly check how is your radar visibility. 
it's the lowest from the front or the rear. So if we run away in a straight line, we might be able to get away from him. He might also be launching at other targets. Um, you know what? Uh, we're going to try to go minimum altitude and we're going to go to military speed and then we're going to try to turn away from this so that maybe we can avoid them like that. Yeah, and this is not going to work, is it? It just might. It just might. Yeah, there we go. It has locked onto that. That's 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 a good development there, at least. You need to come down very aggressively. But at least you have launched a missile there. But you need to dive much, much, much faster, my friend. This is your life on the line here. You don't have your radar on, do you? Oh, you do. Um, maybe don't. Okay, no wonder you were spotted. Right, um, in that case, let's try to turn around. Because I don't think they should have a firing solution on us. Well, they do. At least their missiles are indicating that they do. They're certainly still following us, so... Turn around yet again. Can't you can just maneuver around there? Ah no, no no no! These missiles are going to come towards you. Further missiles being detected? No good, no good at all. How are things down here? Otherwise, yeah, you are in trouble down there. Okay, that was that was just basically useless. Right, um, what we can do though is, okay, you guys try to intercept these missiles. But yeah, you can see just how many problems we are having over here, uh, which basically only stem, stem from the fact that uh, we earlier blew all of our missiles. You can loiter over here. You guys are returning to base anyway. These guys are just running out of ammunition there. That's that's something that's going to happen. Um, and you know what? You guys can try to attack this guy. Let's try to see whether we can catch him. Um, I think you actually do need to run a little bit lower for that. Whew, okay, F-35, how are you guys doing? We have sent a missile there. Yeah, but look at that, they're launching another group of four missiles there. This is just not going well at all. But, look at this, the F-35 at least has managed uh, to get these guys away from him. Uh, so let's climb back to normal altitude here. Go to cruise speed. Didn't I tell you to go to a uh, sort of normal altitude here? I think you should. Let's see whether they will be launching at us again or whether they're just, just homing in on our active emissions there. Uh, not too sure actually what was happening there. Uh, you guys are just buzzing over here. Let's just double check everything is fine. You guys over here, I think the Gripens are going to have a problem soon. Because they don't really have... They've just... How much until bingo fuel? 200 miles. That's basically nothing. That's basically nothing. They are so useless planes. You need to re keep them refueled all the time. Okay, we've got the tank over here. Now let's just send it a little bit towards these planes. Maybe that's going to be halfway helpful. Right, you guys are coming into theatre. And I presume what we need to do is actually bring these F-15s. They're so good planes for such a such a dubious job here. Okay, you guys are going to try to get here and try to get here in time. Even though I kind of don't think that you're going to be able to do that. Likewise for you, but they are continuously launching all the time. So maybe, just maybe we're going to be able to manage that, but I don't know. Right, okay, come on, shoot that plane down. Ah, Jesus. Right, let's try that again. One for you, and one for you, please. Your range is sufficient, I think, so let's briefly turn on our radar. 
They should allow you to fire off two of your missiles. Two of your missiles. Come on, come on, two of your missiles. Just launch the other missile. Just, just launch it. 75 miles. That should be, oh no, it was just outside of your range, but it should now be within your range. Um, unless, of course, I pause, in which case you're not going to launch. Okay, there we go. Turn everything off. And you know what? You can actually turn around. Mm, didn't I tell you to turn everything off? I thought I did. Right. Okay, missiles are out of uh, out on their way there. That's good. Things over here are fine-ish. At least I can't see any any development here. You guys can actually go back to loitering speed. Mm, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Okay, and um, let's go back to being very very low. On the other hand, you can go very very fast, please. Curious to see that they are so uh, strong at breaking our uh, um, our stealth characteristics. Okay, how are you guys going to do? Come on now, intercept. You only have five minutes until bingo fuel. Right, and also what's going on down here? 700 miles. You guys are traveling slightly uh, slower. Okay, let's fall back behind this guy and just pass to him with everything we've got. We're going to allow him to overtake basically. But we want to protect our ships. Come on. Soon you should be able to, to see him. Lock onto him. He's running at 20,000 feet. That's interesting. At 20,000 feet, you know what? Um, let's try to climb towards his altitude. We're going to go to uh, 20,000 feet too, and we might actually be able to gun him down like World War II style. With the V1s being intercepted over London. I'm going to assign 20mm guns to that. Uh, there is a bit of an issue there. In Often the scenario designers neglect to uh, put ammunition stores in and, and they basically focus on on the other stuff nice okay you know what we don't actually need that you can return to base please thank you thank you for your service there right um how's the f-35 looking um it should be looking good but for some reason it isn't should have done a course correction here before Although, on the other hand, it almost seems like they are running a little bit behind you, which would be fantastic. Not sure where these missiles are going. Well, we did shoot down an aircraft there, so that's nice. Okay, you are, you are getting out of the way here, so that's nice. Good. Um, how are things over here? You guys, um, can you launch them? I think you should be able, right? They, they are pretty slow. Um, but you're for some reason pretty high up. Shouldn't be. There we go. Further missiles. This is our best defense that we can do, but they're still streaming in with their missiles, so this is really, really kind of tough. Right, um, Puma, you're the Grippins. You guys are Grippins too. Uh, where's our Avex? It's over there. You know what? I want to place it even further towards the east. How are things down here? Come on now. Come on now. Just strike, strike, strike. What are you doing? These sightwinders. These sightwinders just turned turned away. They should not have done that. Mm, also, I'm not sure why these guys are out of the bullseye limits. I don't think they should be. So it's a single unit. It, it's really facing towards these guys. Oh, because you're just too high. Why are you doing that to me, though? I don't understand. Sometimes I really don't.
Let's do everything that we can here. Get low. Yeah, he's climbing down now, so that's good. But I don't think he's going to be fast enough here. Not anymore, though. Okay, at least this guy's engaging from the front here. Which is fantastic. Okay, and finally we're seeing some missiles coming in from the rear, too. Stop. Um, right, let's have you come around here. So you guys are traveling 670 knots. Right, that should be slightly faster than this. And let's try that again, you know, with the 20,000 feet. Come on now, come on now. Turn around. What are you doing? You're climbing up, but you're not turning around. Well, we did manage to shoot one of these guys down, and I don't want to risk it. I'm going to send two more sightwinders his way. You guys are returning to base? No, you're back to mission. Um, if you've got a single sightwinder left. Um, I don't think that's going to be that cruel. Well, I say that, but there's a single missile here. So your target is going to be this, this one guy here. Uh, you can go to normal cruise speed, please. You, on the other hand, can go to afterburner speed. Try to catch up. There's, there's our Sartwinder. These are the root rams. Uh, they're very high now. That's okay. These missiles, that's that's really... Really don't quite understand what they're doing. But let's try to intercept it with the Grippins. We've also spotted another unit up here. It might very well be uh, an aircraft that is over the over Russia. So that's a 35 flanker. So fixed wing fighter. We don't exactly know where it is. We've just know that it's somewhere within this area, which really isn't telling us that much. Right, these cars are traveling south. You are coming close towards that ship. You're gonna be able to launch something at them soon. That's nice. You know what? I think you could actually potentially launch something at these guys. No, outside of weapon range as always. Stop. What's going on down here? Why Why are you failing me so badly? Why are you failing me so badly? Come on. Come on. Please. 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 This is this is the airlock Berkey class. There's no point in intercepting any of the other missiles if if these ones hit, and I do not think that these sightwinders will be catching up in time. There we go. That's our phalanx shooting. Nice. Whew. Now imagine if the sightwinders hit the uh, hit the missile there. Uh, not the missile, the uh, boat. <laughs> Whew. Jesus, this is tense. Right, um, anything up here? No, we don't know where that flanker is, so let's ignore that for the moment. You guys are all just chilling down here. We've got a UAV coming up. Um, I'm not missing any flights that I've launched at some point. No, you just weigh yourself from where you need to be. That's okay, though. We've now got you guys, and we've got the Iris. So, wait a minute, you're the Eurofighter Typhoons, and you've got Iris Ts? Yeah, okay, no, never mind, you're fighters. That's okay, you're going there. You guys are all refueling and stuff, and then you're gonna move up there. All of that's gonna be all right. Yeah, so let's focus on the stuff that we've got going over here. So, what have we got? We've got a single sight one, and we've got um, at least a lot more missiles coming in. So, what can we do? We need to bring in more air cover, but we don't really have more air cover. You guys are making your way over here, but it's gonna take half an hour until you're there, and these guys are gonna be there much sooner. Much, much sooner, in fact. Well, what we can do is go for afterburner speed, but let's see how that and long that's gonna last. 
So that's only gonna last for 200 miles or so, 250 miles maybe. It might be just enough. It might be just enough. This is the number that I'm looking at. Um, and that could potentially be, be helpful enough here. But it's gonna be tight. And even if, if that even if that does work, there's absolutely no way how we would know um, that, that it could work for more than one thing there. Okay, you're too low, but otherwise you could launch. So let's try to play around with their stuff there a little bit. Let's uh, just briefly dip up here to a high altitude and go back to a very low altitude and try to get away. Okay, one more missile being launched at them. That's that's all right. You, for some reason, decided not to launch uh, because you also decided that you have reached bingo fuel or something? No. I, I, sometimes, game, 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 come on. You've allocated the sidewinder there. Let's allocate these guys. Um, let's match his altitude. 30 feet, so basically nothing. Okay, let's at least go to a low altitude here. And afterburn is probably gonna over No, 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 afterburn is fine. Ah, but he's too fast. He is too fast, our sidewinder will not be catching him. So in fact, you guys will need to come down here and try to engage these guys. Um, I think you can't go military speed for that. But you basically have no hope of catching him. And the root ram, the F-35, will probably also not match him in speed. We could try that for, for a brief moment here. Let's try to go very low and uh, try to gun him down. Again, I'm, I'm just uh, sold on the idea of trying to do that. You're coming in faster, you're diving, that's okay, but other than that, we're gonna have a problem here. He's gonna overtake you soon, and I'm hoping that you can get off some shots while you're doing that, but you're just way too high up. Way too high up. You're only now passing 35,000 feet, and he's at ground level. So that's gonna be a no, an absolute no here. No, 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 look at that. We're still at 24,000 feet, and he's now a mile or so away because he's just so much faster than we are. Even at afterburner speed. Yeah, okay, no ch no chance here. Let's just return to base. Uh, service to air missiles, that's not good, but yeah, they're just going against this uh, missile there, so that's fine. We've also got this flight here. We could have timed that a little bit better, maybe. Um, you are how far away? I think you should actually be within range, so you know what? Um, let's try it then. Let's have you guys again target these ships and we're going to target two missiles at each of these targets there we go you should be launching them now and then you should be sort of immediately returning right let's uh, return to base yeah there you go you're doing that now and you're slightly high i don't like that but let's see Right, um, you guys also at least try, I don't think we need to assign these um, these 20mm guns um, manually, but I'm going to do that anyway, just to make sure. Let's fire sort of everything that we've got. We've also got some passive defenses, but they're really not good enough that I would really, really think that uh, we can go ahead there. What are you guys doing? Ah, oh, you're still trying to follow that one because the Sightwinder here has been has been allocated. So let's deallocate deallocate all of this and then assign the sightwinder to this missile down here and then you should finally come down here and try to intercept them. And let's try not to get overboard here with the altitude. A low altitude is still perfectly fine. You know what? Um, a medium altitude is perfectly fine. Right, no chance of intercepting that missile. He seems to be going for this ship, question mark. Which does have, no, absolutely nothing. Okay, there we go, we are seeing a lot more missiles now. So these guys do have quite a bit of um, anti-air missiles, it seems. I was hoping that they uh, would be running dry by now, but that evidently does not seem to be the case. 
It's also slightly disappointing still that the Turkish missiles were really incapable of targeting anything over there. And that's one of our missiles, two of our missiles, three of our missiles, and uh, no, just three of our missiles, but they will be sending out more. So I have very little hope of this guy making it through all of this, this big formation here. So yeah, there we go, that's another two missiles. And even if these two were to miss, they can probably do that another two or three times. But we are reducing their stores, and at some point, at the very least, um, our Italian bombers should be getting ready. So you guys are refueling them there, that's that's all very good, but yeah. yeah. See, two missiles missed, but then another couple of them are coming in, and finally they made it. Um, you're returning to base, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing that now at least. Ooh, this is no good. Where are these missiles going? Now they could be coming in for our flight here, but I don't think so. They, they were a little bit more short range anyway. Whew, okay, we're lucky here. This missile has missed, um, so that at the very least is good. But that being said, what are you doing? Heading to a refuel point. No, 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 stop it. Um, you should not be heading to a refuel point. You just have one job at this moment. Um, you should not do that. Where's the refuel, refuel button? Use refueling, no. Not allowed, not in the middle of combat, please. Uh, we are actually, actually gonna unassign you from your current mission and then you're gonna move over there. Hoping that you can launch that one side well done that you've got. In time, please, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on now. Come on now. Why are you not launching? We have that allocated. We have that allocated. Why don't you why don't you do that? Twelve thousand feet. We are close enough. I think. Five miles here, yeah, there we go, finally. And with that you can finally return home. You guys are trying to make your way over here, but still it's so far away. And still these guys are streaming in. And we've got three missiles that we haven't covered at all. Even if this here is going to be a hit. Which at this point I kind of doubt whether it's going to be. Uh, also where are you going? Where do you think you're going my friend? Do we have fighters currently up here in the air somewhere? I think Dragon is some recon. You guys, you are over here. Okay, your job is gonna be to attack that missile. You're returning to base Winchester? No, you're not. Sorry, sir, you're not returning to base Winchester. You are gonna attack. Not sure whether he has run out of steam or whether we just don't see him anymore. That's going to be difficult to find out. Uh, we'll need to run radar and come over here, sort of. Military speed, let's go medium altitude. Let's try to find him. Dragon, you guys are using your senses. Yes, you are. Who? and here we go. So, let's see. Okay, these two missiles seem to be missing, but these guys are not. Now, I don't think that these guys are, so... I think jokes very much on us. Okay, I can't see anything down here. I'm not sure what they were actually launching against, but... I also want to find out a little bit better what's going on over here. You're the Grippins, right? Yeah, you're the Grippins and you're pretty much out of target already. These are very, very difficult to time effectively. These guys might be going somewhere down here, but sort of this wiggling motion tells me that they're seeking a target. Are you going to be using your phalanx independently? Let's try to see whether they will. I don't see them doing that for now. What's the range on, on these guys? Your range is... 0. 
Zero point something miles. There we go, now you're firing. But you're only gonna have like two salvos, maybe three if we're lucky. Ooh, okay, so that guy missed. Let's uh, see in a moment whether... Whew, okay, let's uh, let's see what what's happening here. So, weapon endgame. The first of these things that happened is that we do see... I think that must have been sort of in this logical year. So these, these notifications here are... There was the 127mm gun that was launched against the anti-shipping missile. That didn't work, so you can all see all of the details here. We have had a final hit chance of 1%, but we nearly hit it, but we did miss. Um, then this guy was actually spoofed. So one of our things here spoofed this radar seeker, and that was very nice because then it fell basically into the sea. Uh, the second missile, we did uh, shoot at it again, this time very far off. And I think we again spoofed it. Yeah, this time with the with the decoy actually. So we uh, shot off a decoy. Whereas all of the two, the first two decoys here failed, right? So only the Mark Fifty Nine decoy actually managed to um, successfully spoof that missile. This is very nail biting. This is not what we want to rely on. So let's take a look here. This is ninety miles away. This is one hundred thirty six miles away. These guys are going to get there much faster, I think, than this. Um, let's let's briefly compare that. So from here towards the ship, 40 miles, uh, 90 miles over here. So more than twice as much. We're not running twice their speed. So there's a problem over here. Uh, what's our range on these missiles? Our range must be around 75 miles. 60 miles. <sighs> 60 miles. We're gonna try anyway to to intercept them. I'm not overly optimistic, to put it mildly, that we're actually gonna make a successful intercept here, but we might as well try. Oh, sorry, not you. You. You're gonna use your sensors, which have a very very low range. And then we're gonna see whether we can finally get them there. Whew. Um, let's try to get you over there too. I think this might be a thing that's working in our favor, this electronic warfare that we are using over here. But it is kind of messed up. How are the Italians doing? You are refueling. You guys are refueling. You guys are nearly done though. So at least one of our flights here should soon escape from this. And I think you guys are certainly currently sort of cut out from the refueling itself, so that's unfortunate. No, sorry, that was the tankers itself. Okay, yeah, you have been the one that has been drained the most heavily. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, how are we doing up here? Let's you know what. Let's accelerate that slightly and try to find out. Uh, let's also keep an eye off what's going on in northern Ukraine because I'm seeing a couple of fighters here. Um, and I do want to find out what's what's going on, but I don't want to risk my planes just by ignoring them. Uh, also, what's this? That's a Frogfoot over there. Huh, that's two Frogfoots. Well, aren't you a welcome addition to the team? Let's try to engage you. We're going to, of course, use our sensors here. Yes, please. Ooh. Well, the moment you turn on your torch, you're very suddenly seeing a lot of things going on down here. So, what are you, firstly? You seem to be a type of helicopter. We haven't really confirmed that you're hostile, but I very much think it is going to be hostile. So, that's an intriguing development. Also, these guys down here are coming in. I think, you know what, I think these Frogfords are coming out, whereas these guys are all coming in. So in that case, what I want to do is assign missiles here. So you are going to target this guy and that guy, and you are going to be targeting this guy and that one. 
Presumably still without outside of our range. Um, D variant 75 miles, right? Yeah, so now you should be able to engage these guys at the very least now. Are you? Are you gonna? Yeah, you're sending missiles their way. I don't actually think that we're going to be able to, to successfully attack these guys because by the time the missiles are there, they might have uh, gone out, uh, out of the range. But these ones I'm a little bit more optimistic about and I really want to find out what you are doing. So that being said, I think now is a good place to put in a cut. Let's see. Let's see what uh, is going to happen to our ships here. I'm I'm very intrigued whether that's going to work out, uh, and and actually kind of kind of not too optimistic about that. But that being said, until now, hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and everything, and I hope to see you around next time. Bye bye.